Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite budget-friendly ways to help freshen up your space for the spring and summer seasons. And celebrating the seasons is such a great way to breathe joy and life into your space. And today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorite tips on how you can achieve that high-end designer look in your space in a very easy and approachable way. So these tips are super simple to implement, but they're really gonna create an impact and make your space feel special and homey this season. So. I hope you guys enjoy this one and without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so my first tip revolves around florals because that's a big part of spring decorating, but my tip is to mix in the florals with greenery that you already have because obviously it's expensive to fill your entire vase with florals for spring. And if you're like me, there's probably a good amount of vases around your home to fill, but if you utilize the greenery that you already have, you only need a couple of floral stems. And this also helps to give your arrangement more of a gathered feel, helping it to look a bit more lifelike and wild. And some of my favorite stems to use are those Real Touch peonies. They feel just like real flowers. And last year I made a little arrangement out of three colors that reminded me of a summer sunset. And I just love the statement that it made on our dining table. The pop of color was really fun and the peonies themselves are actually pretty affordable. I will link the ones that I used below, but you could also just pop a couple of white florals in a vase if you don't like the colors competing with your current decor scheme or if you just like to keep things really neutral white flowers are super simple and they go with anything and you can just pop them in with greenery that you already have and it's a really classic look that's very versatile and you could also utilize the less is more look when it comes to florals not everything has to be fantastically full and lush if you find a vase with a narrow opening you can fill it with just a couple of stems to make things feel more gathered and rustic this is budget friendly because you only need to purchase a couple of stems and it's also a lot easier to store as well. Okay, so another way to help your space feel special for spring is to simply update your outdoor oasis. And this doesn't have to be a huge lush backyard with lots of space. This can be something simple like a patio or a balcony. Just by layering a couple of small plants, you could really up the ambiance of your space. Last year, I showed you all how I put together a super affordable little greenhouse from Ikea. And I showed you also how I aged my terracotta pots to get that lived in antique feel. So just just by doing small things like that, you can really help to infuse a lot of character and warmth into your outdoor space and make it feel decorated and cozy. Even something as simple as cleaning off your furniture and swapping out your outdoor pillows can really make a space feel fresh and renewed. And when it comes to outdoor spaces, I like to keep things really classic and I like nature to be the focus. So a lot of times when I'm picking out patterns for my pillows, I like to keep it on the more simple and neutral side. So something like a simple stripe or a muted navy blue color, just something really simple that kind of blends in with nature is what I typically gravitate towards. And even if you don't have an outdoor space, you can maybe use these techniques next to a large window to get that feeling of the outdoors. And when you open your window during the spring when the weather is nice, it can really help to create that feeling of the outdoors and boost those serotonin levels. Even if you just have an apartment and don't have a large outdoor space, you can bring the outdoors in by using plants and making it feel really fresh and new in that space. And there's also lots of ways to create an outdoor oasis on a budget. Even if you have just a tiny bit of space, Last year, we actually created a pea gravel garden using affordable furniture, and it has really upped the ambiance of our backyard space. I love it because our entire living room area looks out to the backyard. So not only is it a great outdoor space, but it really helps to add to the aesthetics of our inside space as well. And it was 100% worth the two to three weekends of work it took to complete, and it looks a lot more expensive than it was. I intentionally tried to source more evergreen plants, so it's still give a really full and lush look even through the winter time but spring is where the space shines all of the flowers start to bloom and it really just creates a beautiful aesthetic back there and looks like its own little secret garden creating spaces like this even if they're small and simple can really help to give your home a feeling of sanctuary and i also love that i was able
able to grow some of my favorite foods in this space. Last year, it was my first time experimenting with that and I had a lot of luck with my tomato plants and incorporating what I grew in the garden into the kitchen. And I made lots of homemade salsa with the larger tomatoes and I also had a ton of luck with my little cocktail tomato plants. So I ended up freezing those to use in sauces throughout the winter season. And growing your own edible plants is such a fun and inexpensive way to try new things and experiment. And when you create an intentional space to do that in, it can really feel like an extension of your home that you can get a ton of use out of. So that actually brings me to my next super easy and simple tip, and that is to bake a sweet treat and have it out on display. I've talked about this many times before on my channel, but having a little cake stand filled with sweets to put out on your countertop just looks so cozy and cafe-like. So to honor the season, maybe you could look up a new spring recipe to try, and not only is it tasty, but it helps to add to your home's aesthetic as well when you have it out on display. And some of the easiest and quickest treats to make are scones. So so I find myself making these quite frequently because there's so many different combinations of flavors and they require just a few ingredients that I usually have on hand. And they also look so pretty out on display. Last year I made a blackberry lemon lavender scone for my spring tablescape and they were so delicious. These are also great to bring as a gift if you're visiting or you can just freeze them to have them on hand for later when guests pop up. And it's just a fun way to engage all of your senses and really get into the spring spirit while being able to add to the aesthetic of your home as well. Okay, so my next tip is something that I always love to do when the spring season rolls around and that is to hang woven baskets and fill them with florals. This really makes a great use of vertical wall space, especially somewhere where you might need to add a little pop of interest. It's so easy and inexpensive to just install some hooks and hang a basket with faux flowers in it. And this can look great so many places. You can hang it on a door, in an entryway mudroom area, or just a blank wall that needs a little bit of something special. And typically woven materials do help to give your space a feeling of warmth. So that's a great element to incorporate for the spring and summer. It helps it to feel a little bit more bohemian and coastal. And sometimes I'll even keep my baskets up year round and I'll just swap out my stems as the seasons change. So it's a super versatile look and you can really highlight the season by the stems that you choose to add to the baskets. So you don't need to fill the entire thing with a huge lush or arrangement or anything. All you need is just a stem or two and it helps it to look really casual and gathered and just effortlessly styled. Okay, so my next tip is gonna kind of piggyback off of the last one and that is to incorporate woven details. As I mentioned with the baskets, woven details help to add so much warmth to a space, giving it that spring summertime vibe. And I love to incorporate wovens wherever I can in my decor because it helps to give my space a more laid back, casual feel. So I try to have wovens out year round because that's the look that I like in my space in general, but typically I'll add even more during the warmer months to really infuse that spring feel in my decorating. And this doesn't have to be expensive. You can always find baskets at the thrift store for just a couple of dollars. And even if you don't like the stain or color that they are, it's very easy to change that and just give them a paint wash treatment. And I actually have a little tutorial on that in one of my past thrift flip videos. So I will link that below as well. And last year I purchased this super cute gathering basket that I actually used when harvesting my plants. So it came in handy when it was time to bring my herbs and veggies indoors. But when I wasn't using it outdoors, it actually doubled as decor as well. I simply just filled it with some affordable faux hydrangea stems to give it a fresh styled look. And I love things that help to add to the aesthetic of my space, but are also practical at the same time. It just makes everything feel so much more intentional and purposeful. Purposeful. So I will link that gathering basket, the hydrangea stems, as well as anything in this video that can be linked that can be found down below in the description box. Okay, so my next tip is to incorporate floral patterns. And floral patterns are very big right now and they're a great way to infuse a lively touch of spring into your space. And I'm constantly seeing designers use florals in loud ways, things like furniture pieces and wallpaper, which adds so much personality to a space. But in order to keep things a little bit more affordable, I'll just use the pillows I normally have and then I'll swap one or two out for something floral just to give it a little punch of that pattern, but still keeping things feeling very calm and natural. 
You can also swap out little details like your dishcloths and hand towels to make things feel fresh and new as well. It's little changes like this that make a big impact for a very small cost. And even though they don't make a ginormous statement size-wise, they really create an impact because they're those tactile pieces that you use every day. So you do notice them, especially when they're in your daily rituals. They make things feel fresh and new, but it was just a couple of dollars to swap out. And next, one of the easiest ways to freshen up your space for the spring season is to swap out your scents. Obviously, adding something simple like a little spring candle is so small, but it can really help to engage you with that sense of smell and is a subtle yet impactful way to experience the spring and summer season in your space. So candles are a great thing to help to add to the aesthetic, but there's also other ways that we can infuse the spring and summer-like feel into our daily rituals. Another alternative to candles would be to use real flowers in spaces where you will smell them and interact with the scent. Places like a dining table or a side table next to a sofa. Last spring, one of my favorite things to do when our guests would come over would be to go outside into the garden and trim some lavender stems and then just pop them in a small vase right next to the nightstand for a fresh calming scent when falling asleep. And things like swapping out your hand soap or dish soap for a spring themed scent can also help you experience the season every day in a subtle way. So I try to be intentional about swapping out my soaps when the seasons change. So those daily chores like dishes can feel a little bit more special. Okay, so my next tip is to decorate with a garden or a spring themed book. And books are one of my favorite pieces to decorate with to make my home feel cozy. And when you sprinkle spring books throughout your space, it can really help to add that fresh springtime ambiance. And this doesn't have to be expensive either. You can go to your local thrift store and search for books that have subjects of gardening or flowers. And these are usually just a couple of dollars. And it's so nice to be able to learn something and immerse yourself in a book while having it double as decor as well. My favorite spring themed book that I've gained a ton of inspiration from is the terrain book and this has a beautiful green binding perfect for spring and it was only like $20 and there is a ton of valuable information for decorating with plants both outdoors and indoors there's so many fun project ideas and material inspiration in this book and it also just looks stunning incorporated into my decor for spring I love the image on the cover and these also make great gifts as well for people who might want to get into gardening maybe just bought a home. It's just a good one if you're looking for something to decorate with that won't break the bank and you can also gain some inspiration from it as well. Okay, so one of my absolute favorite tips is to start a propagation wall. This is arguably the best time of year to start this project because you can propagate clippings that give you entirely new plants for the spring and summer season. And these can be great to give as gifts or plant out in your garden. I personally love to propagate my rosemary and basil because I use them all the time in my cooking and I find that basil propagates super quick. The rosemary takes a little bit more time, but it's nice to have plants that are edible and that you can actually consume. But but of course you can propagate house plants as well. It's a great way to take a blank wall and just up the visual of it. And all you need are a couple of hooks and vials. And it's a super cost-effective way to decorate an entire blank wall that you actually get to use. And if you like the propagation idea, but you don't want to dedicate an entire wall to it, you could always just get a small propagation station. I bought mine for like 15 bucks online and it can be a really sweet spring addition to a shelf, table, or a windowsill. All right, everyone, that I'm wraps up this video. I hope that you found some fun inspiration for your space this spring season. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support the channel. And if you have any of your favorite spring decorating tips that you'd like to share, definitely leave them in the comments below because we do have such a great community here on this page full of lots of supportive and lovely people. So it's a nice place to kind of swap ideas and get inspiration. And I just want to thank you all so much for your continued support of my channel, for even just watching this video. Just know I'm so grateful for all all of you and I hope your spring season is off to a fabulous start so far and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!